To our top story next year on France 24, and that's Emmanuel Macron saying he's confident voters in France would make the right choice after he shocked the country and announced snap elections. The risky move, which dissolved parliament, came after his party suffered a huge defeat against the far-right national rally in European elections. The party's Marine Le Pen, meanwhile, has welcomed the snap vote. And while she is refusing the prime minister's post, she says her goal remains uh, the, securing the presidency in 2027. Who will be Prime Minister? Jordan Bardella or you, Marine Le Pen? Jordan Bardella. And why not you? I'm a woman of my word. I've always told the French people that for months now, we've been working with Jordan Bardella as part of a real governing partnership. And we're working with the aim of fulfilling to the best of our ability the functions that the French people would entrust us with. As you know, I'm working towards the presidency. He's working towards the prime minister's job. There's no reason to change that. Marine Le Pen speaking there. Now we can go across to France 24's Clovis Casali, standing by at the headquarters of the centre right Les Républicains party. Clovis, good afternoon. The leader of that party is speaking now. What's Eric Ciotti been saying? Eric Ciotti has just made a groundbreaking announcement. announcement. Les Républicains, uh, the right-wing party here in France, will make an alliance with the French far-right of Marine Le Pen. A historic decision. Until now, there had been here in France what one calls the Front Républicain, a Republican front. In other words, a way for um, mainstream parties to prevent any kind of deal with the French far right. Mainstream parties deciding to reject Marine Le Pen uh, and her far right ideas and policies. It's all over now with the um, French party, Les Républicains, and Eric Ciotti, their boss, saying his party is currently too uh, weak, too small in terms of the amount of votes they've been receiving, they've been getting in recent elections, to stand alone, and that's why he's going with Marine Le Pen. Let me give you a bit of background on this party, Les Républicains. It used to be called the UMP. They used to be in power with uh, President Nicolas Sarkozy, who was, of course, uh, part of the uh, UMP. And uh, therefore, it's very surprising to see this deal being concluded now against all odds. This morning, there had been some information in the media. One newspaper, Le Figaro, announcing that Ciotti was considering an alliance with Marine Le Pen. It's now a deal, a done deal. It's a done deal, Clovis, and I expect that the National Rally will be welcoming this news. Absolutely. The National Rally has been dreaming of this block of the right wing, if you will. That's what they've been calling for for years now. Uh, the um, far right with Marine Le Pen trying to uh, change its image over the years, trying to come across as a, a serious, normal, if you will, uh, political uh, party. And that's why Marine Le Pen has been working hard over the years to try, try to attract uh, right wing figures, people from the UMP, people from other sovereignist uh, parties here in France. And uh, she's managed now to do precisely uh, that. And it will be interesting to see how uh, people within the uh, Les Républicains party react, because you've got some centre-right politicians, more uh, conservative politicians in this party. Some have already said, there's no way, we will never go with Marine Le Pen. So this is going to cause turmoil, internal uh, divisions within Les Républicains uh, party. <coughs> And minutes ago, I was talking to a member of Renaissance, which is uh, President Macron's party, and he was telling me that if this deal goes through, well, it's just the sign that Les Républicains and the far-right national rally are exactly the same, and they've embraced the same ideas. According to this Renaissance MP, it's been the case for years. They've been pushing for the same policies, and therefore it's normal for such a deal to happen. Clovis, thank you very much for that. Clovis Casali reporting there from the headquarters of the centre right Les Républicains. We can now bring in Samuel Hayat, uh, researcher at Sciences Po Centre for Political Researchers. Research, rather. Uh, good afternoon. Thank you very much for joining us uh, here on France 24. In the past few minutes, we have uh, the centre right in France who's backing an alliance with the far right. What does that mean to you? Is it just uh, Les Républicains who are trying to stay relevant? Well, they do try to stay relevant, but they are doing so at the expense of the unity 
of their political party because a few minutes ago uh, senators from Les Républicains have said that they were unanimous in refusing this alliance with the extreme right. It is uh, so it will lead most likely to a real break uh, among Republicans, among this uh, this right wing political party. The left is also vowing uh, to come together. Is there more need now more than ever for that alliance to be strong? Because within the left, there's so many divisions, particularly when it comes to France on Bao, the party led by uh, Jean-Luc Mélenchon. Well, the left was divided during the European elections, but they were in united just two years ago in 2022. They... But many things have happened since then. We have the ongoing war in Ukraine. Many uh, parties don't see eye to eye on. We have the ongoing uh, war in Gaza. Many parties don't see eye to eye on. That's true, but you also had the uh, reform pension of pensions where all the left was united in the streets and uh, against this reform. So it seems that the disagreements, they are profound, but they do not prevent left wing parties to work together and to, you know, find uh, an agreement on not only question of persons, but also a question of program. Now, you have to take into consideration the fact that anti-fascism is really a founding element, a moral element of the left in France. So the idea that the extreme right is, you know, uh, very much ready to seize power is a very, very strong incentive for all left wing people to, you know, forge an alliance. What do you say about uh, the Socialist Party? Has Rafael Glucksmann managed to uh, revive the fortunes of this party, which was written off uh, in 2022? Uh, we should recall the mayor of Paris, Anne Hidalgo, stood uh, for the presidency and came in with just 1.7 percent or something like that. No, it's true. And Rafael Glucksmann was very made very good European campaign. And, you know, he succeeded in gathering lots of center left or left wing people that are in favor of the European Union uh, in general. But when it comes to actual French politics, you know, Raphael Glusman is not a member of the Socialist Party. He is uh, the head of a very small uh, party called Place Publique. And it seems that, you know, he was not invited to the negotiations about the new popular front. He was not there. And so now he's saying that he's, he's, he is against it, but he's pretty much alone in that uh, endeavor from, for now. But he, I think that the alliance between the National Front and, and the Les Républicains will make it even more difficult for left-wing people to refuse the new popular front. Now, we have uh, Eric Ciotti, uh, again, of the centre-right uh, Les Républicains party, who's saying he has spoken, uh, held talks with Marine Le Pen and Jordan Bardella from the far-right National Rally Party. Uh, given uh, what we're seeing the Les Républicains do and what has happened to the far-right uh, in Europe, has the far right been normalized? Is it being normalized here in France based on the actions of the center right Les Républicains party? Well, the ideas of the far right have been normalized, but it's not new. I mean, Les Républicains is not a center right party. It's a very right wing party, very conservative, that have a platform that is on many questions uh, very close to the one of the National Front. So before the normalization of the national rally as a party, there was the normalization of, these, of their ideas because Les Républicains have borrowed lots of their elements of their program from the national rally. And it, to a certain extent, it is also true uh, for Emmanuel Macron. They, there is a sort of normalization of extreme right ideas in France. Mm. And it is, of course, very preoccupying for uh, people who who are, you know, humanists and do not believe that extreme right wing ideas are the solution to the problems of the hour. Samuel Hayat, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you very much for joining us on the program today. Thank you. Bye.